Hi everybody. One of the most common questions that I'm asked by my students in China is, Mr. Duncan, do you like cooking in England? And my answer to that question is, do I? I like cooking a lot. And this video is going to attempt to prove that I enjoy cooking. So tonight, I'm going to show you some of Mr. Duncan's home cooking. So, here are the ingredients for tonight's meal. Some organic garden peas. Five juicy carrots. Three large potatoes. And Mr. Brain's pork faggots. Hey man, did you hear what he just said? <laughs> he said faggots. <laughs> I think it is fair to point out that faggots are a traditional English dish made from pork and the innards of the pig. I hope we are all clear on that now. The first thing we need to do is to take the faggots out of the box and loosen the foil around the edge so then when it gets hot the sauce can bubble over and then we don't have an explosion. Next we put the aforementioned faggots into the oven. It takes about 40 minutes to cook the faggots and we close the door like that and we set the timer on here for 40 minutes. Voila! Now all we have to do is wait. Whilst waiting for the faggot to cook I can begin peeling the potatoes. Now this is one job I really hate doing. I hate peeling potatoes so much. It takes such a lot of energy just to peel one potato. Ooh. La la la. Ooh. Du, du, du. Du, du, du. Du. Peeling potatoes, such good fun. Actually, I'm quite good at peeling potatoes. Get rid of the rotten bit. And look at that. Voila! One peeled pommes frites, as we say in France. The potatoes are now peeled, so it's on to the carrots. Carrots are much easier to peel the potatoes. Look at that. That's some nice peeling, boy. Now, look at this. They've actually let me loose with a a knife. So all we have to do is chop the carrots. Now I'm not very good at chopping, I have to be honest, so my chopping skills are not that good. So uh, 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 excuse me, but my chopping is not great. So this is Mr. Duncan now attempting. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a big one. Okay, now the secret is not to cut your fingers off because if you cut your fingers off, it does kind of spoil the night a little bit. Although, should you sever your fingers, you can always add it to the meal for an extra bit of meaty goodness. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. And again. And again. Voila! Now the potatoes are cooking, the carrots are bubbling away, and we have two more potatoes here. 
to, to chop. I've decided to add a sweet potato to the meal for a little bit of extra colour. Meanwhile in the oven, the faggots are slowly getting hotter and hotter. Now I've added the garden peas to the carrots so they can cook slowly together. Okay, that's done. So we can turn this off now. And the faggots are now ready. My assistant here is draining the vegetables now. Thank you very much. For the next stage, I need some butter, some milk, and one of these. We add a little butter and a little milk. Voila, and voila, and voila. Then, this is the really fun part. We, we mash the potatoes. Look at that. Mmm. You know, this is the best part of the meal, the mashing. Oh yeah, yes. Destroy the potatoes. Destroy them all. They are the enemy. A really good smash. Mm. Look at that, smash, 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 smash. There you have it, mashed potatoes. The plates are ready to receive the delicious food. And here it comes. Look at that. Mmm. Juicy faggots. Mmm. They look great. As I said before, faggots are made from pork, uh, also pig's liver, and lots of other little bits go inside as well. For an added extra touch, Steve is adding some garlic to the onion sauce to add a little bit more je ne sais quoi. Here we go, the most important part, the sauce. Mmm, look at that. Whoa. And as you can see, the sweet potatoes have given a nice orange tint to the white potatoes, adding a little bit of colour to the meal. Maybe. So now I think it's time to eat. I hope you enjoyed watching me cook this wonderful meal. Of course the terrible thing about cooking is all the washing up you have afterwards. Ugh.